An old friend of Titanic went with my small icebergs there. In fact, I'm talking about what the flower leaves. Water lily flowers, what am I talking about? Um, a film which was so successful, so uh, such a hit with the, uh, the box office, especially, but also with the critics. And um, if I, I must say that if I rejected it completely in the first place, I said this is nonsense. Um, then uh, I grew not to like it, really, but to accept it as, a, as an indeed impressive um, achievement. Uh, and um, of course, it, it was, it has been for so many years. It had been uh, uh, the, 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 the box office record. <laughs> I don't. I'm not even sure, $2 billion with, with um, uh, everything associated uh, to the film and um, only surpassed, I think, by Avatar, another James Cameron uh, smash hit, blockbuster, mega hit, whatever you can call it. And indeed, it is interesting because um, uh, it was not easy. I understand that uh, it cost a lot. It, it, it broke a record also in, in this sense. It, it was, again, I'm just throwing figures that I'm not sure of, but uh, it's not really an economical opinion here. Uh, maybe it was $200 million cost of production, which was immense a record of the time uh, and um, indeed many were skeptical as I just said I was uh, in terms of uh, the success the sense of putting on uh, a long film about a ship that goes down but of course it's much more than that it's a love story and uh, they became Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, Kate Winslet became, if not Romeo and Juliet, uh, they became two important heroes, two romantic heroes, and they joined a long line. Indeed, it's not uh, Rick and uh, Casablanca and his love, uh, but uh, it's there, and uh, it's uh, I was laughing because they also use it in in the um, comedy shows that I I, I watch um, late night show or if they want to uh, caricature uh, say that you know, this is like I'm just this is an invention and I didn't see that I'm saying that. Uh, Trump and uh, his uh, Ivanka who's in for the money actually um, and we could see she's, she was not even living in a White House. And this is a man who grabs pussy. And it's, I hate this. Uh, orange. Uh, uh, Anti-hero. Um, but they might use at various moments the image of uh, this orange uh, villain as DiCaprio and his uh, trophy wife, as they also call it, uh, being uh, Kate Winslet. They could, do, they, they could do something like that to make a point. And there's of course a disaster and it's, a, it's an immense tragedy and, 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 and uh, there are reverberations that you, 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 you can't help but feel empathy and sympathy, pity for these people who have to jump. That's not class war warfare really, but that's this idea that first class passengers had a different uh, status. And the fight for the place on the lifeboat, uh, the band singing while the ship is going down, and of 
course what happens throughout hike them on throughout the journey plus of course this idea of being hit by a, a, a big rock of whites in, in the ocean